Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how you can embed an existing website in an Excel Learning project. You know it's possible to insert a hyperlink to, uh, to take people to a different website, but it may also be possible to have a window with the website you want. So uh, what you first need to do is to insert a text box. So you go to the left, click on text, now we need a special code. So I have it here and I will also make it available in the description below. So you take this code and replace this part with the URL you want. Uh, by default I'm using 800 by 600 pixels. You can also modify that part. As long as you don't, you don't insert any spaces or any extra characters in the other parts of the code. So I'm going to highlight the code, copy, then once uh, the editor is engaged in Excel Learning, look for this button called Insert Edit Embedded Media. You click, click on the tab called the Code, and you paste the code here. And now uh, let's pretend I need this list of phrasal verbs in my Excel Learning project. So I'm going to copy the URL and I'm going to replace it. This part uh, is crucial, so make sure you don't change anything else aside from the sample URL, so only the, the information within quotation marks. So I'm changing that, click OK, and you see now I have a window with this website. So I'm going to close the editor, and there you go. So this could be a more elegant way of inserting existing content from the web in your Excel learning projects. Um, there's just one warning. There are some websites that are protected against, the, against embedding somehow. So if you follow the steps and end up with a gray window, that means the, the website is protected. So it's not that you did anything wrong. So keep that in mind. And this trick may also work on Moodle-based platforms. So you can edit uh, the HTML code and embed websites in Moodle-based platforms. So I hope you find this uh, quick trick helpful.